You don't need to break the bank to play Pendulums, man. Pendulum Magicians can be had for less than $100 for the main deck, extra deck, and side deck. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how. So, before we get into this video, I want to ask you guys all a question. $100 is cool and all, but if you guys want to see a $50 budget Pendulum video, main deck, side deck, and extra deck, a combined $50, then I want you guys to comment down below, I want to see the $50 budget Pendulum deck trip! Let's go! That's what I want to see. So comment down below if you guys want to see it. And I want you guys to also do me a massive favor. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. And check all the links down below. And let's get started, boys. I'm hyped for this video. It's time to show you guys Budget Pendulums and all of its greatness. Let's go. Like, just look at this hat. This hat's actually just average at best, right? Combined value of four cents. Well, look at this. You don't need to break the bank to play Pendulums, man. I'm telling you. I banished. Look at this. My, this is the worst desires in the history of desires. I banished my main combo of artifact scythe, and on top of that, I banished three, not one, but three targets for needle fiber. So despite the fact of having the worst part of desires on the planet, I am literally going to pull off an unbreakable board. All my needle fiber, like literally my whole combo is banished. My needle fiber combo, I can't use it at all. Scythe's gone. What am I gonna do? Well, and look at my hand. It's not even that broken. It's just like average. So I go activate that. I, what am I going to do? Am I going to waste my normal summon on Sork? Am I going to not be able to use my Joker this turn? So this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to literally waste my normal summon to, to trigger the effect of Star Pengraph. Then, the effect of Star Pengraph will get me Harmonizing Magician. I'm going to activate Oak Dragon's effect to add back to my hand a Time Gazer. And I'm going to Pendulum Summon everything. I'm going to add a follow-up. I'm going to get Pengraph and Joker. And I'm going to search Celestial instead. Here, I'm going to go into Dweller, specifically to put Celestial in the Graveyard. And then I'm going to link those two into Selene. Selene will special out the Celestial, triggering its effect at the end phase. And then I'm going to go into an Appaloosa. Look at this. I banished, literally, I banished every Needle Fiber card and my Artifact Scythe. This is like the worst ever possible hand. And I even have to waste my normal my normal summon on Performed by Pendulum Sorcerer that I can't even normal my Joker, specifically just to be able to do this combo. But you got a Appaloosa, Dweller, Dragster, Peng, both Pengrafts. Double pop because I'm going to scale the poison. So you get two pops from Poison, Dragster Negate, double Negate from Appaloosa, and no Grave Effects. That's six Negate, six Interruptions right here, with literally the worst fucking desires in uh, mankind. On top of that, you get Joker as a follow-up, and Celestial Magician's Effect will trigger to add a Wisdomite for another follow-up. So you have the most insane follow-up, and then Star Pengraph is going to search you another card. So you, with the card you're drawing for a turn, you're starting with four cards in your hand. So is this deck insane? Absolutely, and it's under $100. Fuck Magician Souls, fuck Axis Code Talker. You don't need any of those cards. Now I'm going to show you guys another combo where you actually don't banish your Artifact Scythe and actually get to pull off your full combo. So this one, we don't end up banishing our Scythe or our Tuning Magicians. And is our hand that insane? Not really. Like, that's why I want to show you guys here. That you don't need the most insane hands ever. You really don't. Any hand does it, and there's no hand that's like... Like, the best broken hands have, you know, you start with Joker, harmonizing... You don't have to kind of do the plays I'm doing here just to make sure that you can play. So what I do here, I go into Needle Fiber, Star Pengraph Triggers, I'm adding Wisdom Eye. I am not adding Harmonizing Magician. Yes, I could scale the Sorcerer, but having Wisdom Eye in fruition from the extra deck in your hand, it's very important. You need to set up your scales every turn to have Oath and Double Iris always set up every single turn. So then Needle Fiber will go adding that. I go, I have Oath Dragon, I go Selene, and I set up an Appaloosa before my Pendulum Summon. This is literally vital. If you have Appaloosa before your Pendulum Summon, all your plays resolve. Obviously, playing against yourself as I am here, I don't need to go Appaloosa. What am I scared of? I'm, no one's playing Hand Trap against me. I'm playing against myself. Uh, but here, in, if you're facing against someone, you will obviously, you need to make sure an Appaloosa is up there before you actually pen summon. You don't want to hard lose to a Nibiru. That's the, uh, why Tuning Magician is even here. So, next, I'm going to go Pendulum Summon here. I'm going to Pendulum 4 cards. The effect will pop, getting me Joker and Celestial Magician and a Time Pendulum Graph. I'm going to scale the Celestial Magician that I added from Sork to actually trigger Oath's effect to add back a double Iris. Here, I'm going to link into... I'm going to link into a Tornado Dragon and a Dagda. I'm going to set, and then the effect of Pengraph will bring out a Scythe, and then on the opponent's turn, I pop it. So, it's literally this easy. Whenever I flip up Pengraph, Dagda effect will set a Scythe. And then on his turn, while protected, by the way, I have Appaloosa and, and Scythe and Pengraph all set up, and literally all you need is a Scythe. Tornado Dragon pops Scythe, you guarantee everything. 
But with Appaloosa, Pengraph also protecting the whole board, my opponent's fucked and they auto lose. You have the best follow up and everything. So now I'm gonna show you guys the deck list. This is the budget $100 main deck side deck extra deck. I purposely even took out sphere mode from the side deck because a play set's like 25 bucks. But now if you look at everything, the combined value is literally under $100. The, here's the actual list. Obviously double joker, triple wisdom, triple oaf, triple iris. These nine, don't play with it. I don't care if you think oaf dragon's a brick. It's the opposite. Oaf dragon is the only card you want in your scale. You literally need to open it. If you don't start off with Oath, Wisdom, Joker, like Alliance, Pen Call, you literally need to get into it and search it. I took this deck so far that I'm only playing one Pendulum Call to keep it as budget as possible. I'm pretty sure Pen Call is like four bucks a card. So even I, that's how low I did it. If I could, I would play Triple Pen Call. Luster Pendulum, I think it sucks. If you could possibly play another Pen Call over the Luster Pendulum, do it. But I'm pretty sure you get Luster Pendulum for three cents. But Luster Pendulum Call is like four bucks. So if you guys already have the pendulum calls or can get up get it off a of buddy for like a random trade that sucks i would rather you guys play three pen call and remove the luster and remove either a second pendulum graph or a second celestial you do need to play triple tuning magician you do need to play three pen, pen sork and you do need to play the chronograph sorcerer engine all of these are the best way to play this budget deck you don't need souls but without because you're not playing souls you do need to make sure you're playing chrono and the tuning magicians side deck you have all these. Also, the only reason I'm playing two pen graph is if you're a budget player, I'm not saying you're a noob. Definitely not. I'm absolutely not saying that. But the tendency for budget players are that they're new players. They, they're, they're starting out a new hobby. They don't want to learn more. That's why double pen graph is a lot better if you're pretty new at the game because double pen graph will always ensure no matter what, you're always going to have a negate up. Always. Double pop, single pop. As long as you have pen graph in rotation, it stops 90% of trash decks in this meta, and they're all trash compared to Pendulum. So, the rest of the side deck, all blowouts with the exception of Cumungus. If you have Sphere Mode, I would love for you to remove Sphere Mode for the Cumungus. Sphere Mode's infinitely better in this deck. What you do is you just side out the Jokers and Sorks. Alright, extra deck, Dagda. You do need to play Needle Fiber. I understand it's a little expensive, but it's needed. Needle Fiber, Selene, and Appaloosa are a combined $50. The rest of the deck is literally $50. Those three cards are alone. Alone are literally 50 bucks, but you need to play them. There's no way around it. Uh, then I also play Boral Sword, Unchain Abomination. These two are kind of like your, your access code card you're going to play. Exiton over Zeus. If you can get Zeus, it's getting reprinted in the Megatons, I believe. Play it if you can. Dweller, Time Star, Tornado, and Naruto does come up. TG Wonder Magician is still required because of the Needle Fiber play. Then you got Dragster and Ignister. If you have Savage Dragon, I would substitute the Savage Dragon over Ignister, and I would substitute the Luster Pendulum for another pen call. And if you can find a way to squeeze the third one in there, that'll be great as well. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is my $100 budget pendulum deck. And if you guys want to see more decks like this in the future, especially the $50 budget pendulum deck, let me know down in the comments. While you're in the comments, make sure to check out all the links I post down below. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. I love you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!